Welcome to another episode of All Lives Lost, where I play one of my favourite, mainly retro games, until I'm dead in the game, not in real life. And today's game, if you don't already know, is a Lucasfilm game called Ball Blazer, otherwise known as Ball Blaster. I'm actually playing this on the Atari 8-bit. I had this for the Atari 400. And it's obviously written by the same people, or the same company who brought us Star Wars. Uh, later went on to be called LucasArts. Um, released loads of other games, including Coronas Rift, The Eidolon, and another great favourite of mine, Rescue on Fractalus. Uh, I'll hopefully bring you that on another episode of All Lives Lost. Uh, this is a 1985 game, and as I say, it was on the 8-bit computers, so this is on the Atari now, we're playing it. It was also on the Commodores, I'd expect from Amstrad, a ton of other computers as well, and it really sort of pushed the technology at the time. All the Lucasfilm games, the early games, tended to be 3D games, as you can see, we're actually on a 3D grid, and this is a one-on-one uh, -on -one futuristic sports game uh, where two players compete on a grid and have to score as many goals as possible. Each player controls, I think it's called a rotofoil, and they've got to put the ball through on the opposite ends through these goals, and obviously whoever gets the most goals by the time the uh, clock runs out wins. It's as simple as that. I'm just listening to the, the music because Ball Boys have one of the, the best soundtracks ever. It was actually written by a jazz musician and the music's actually random. It uses algorithms to, to pick different leads and rhythm and, and, and drums so you could listen to this for days and days and the music would always be, be different. We should just listen to it for the next hour. No, we won't. But should we play the game? Should we have a have a game? Should we have a five-minute game? Now you can actually play against human. Um, so you can have two players. Me and my friends used to have um, tournaments on this. Big, big, big tournaments, and it was great. It was. It's so playable. And it's so easy. I'm still listening to the music while I'm rambling on that. Uh, but you can play against, anyway, what I'm saying, you can play against droids, and there's nine droids, droid one being the easiest, uh, droid nine being the most difficult, so I'm going to play against the droid. And the actual craft you're in, the rotor foil, automatically rotates towards the ball, so now again you'll see, oh, what a goal. You'll see the actual grid, um, but it'll look a little bit weird as it see it rotates, you can see it rotating like that. So initially that's slightly off point, but once you get into it, it's pretty easy. Oh, what a goal. Now, every time you score a goal, the actual goal posts get sort of narrower and narrower to make it more and more difficult. Um, you can hear that buzz in there, that's the droid. Oh, getting close to me, trying to get the ball off me. You can tackle by pressing the fire button when you get close. I'm the top screen if you're wondering. I'm the one winning. So should we see if you can come on? Oh, what a goal. Another two. Now you can see I've actually got six points at the moment. Now if I fill all those circles up, game's over. Or when the clock runs down, if I've got the most goals, it's game over and I win. So let's see. Oh I'm absolutely thrash and destroyed. Droid one is well easy. I think we'll have another game on a harder level. The the actual two player, two joysticks, two player is just absolutely awesome. As I say, you used to have uh, all the friends around. We used to just have these uh, head to head ball blazer matches. They were just amazing. Used to come around. We used to load it up off uh, tape. Oh, 
find it difficult to get it off this guy. And uh, it used to load it up off tape, and it used to take... I can't even find the ball, there's the ball. It used to take 20 minutes to load, so we'd all be sitting there, like, sort of... Just, just wanting to play. Now and again, the tape, I have an error, and you have to reload it again. But I'm actually playing that under emulation at the moment. And this is actually... Although I'm playing under emulation, I actually downloaded it from the amazing... Oh, what a goal. I win. The amazing Internet Archive. Um, or the Atari 8-bit. Yay. All the Atari 8-bit games are there, so you can just download them all. You can play them online. Actually, in a browser. So once you've won, you can actually sort of bash the... Uh, bash your opponent round. Right, should we have another game? But this time, should we go... Oh. Dare me to do Droid 9. You can see how difficult this is now. I reckon Droid 9 can beat me in a minute. Should we try it? Oh. I thought I was going to score that. I don't think I've ever scored it. When I'm playing against Droid 9. Oh. The closer you are to the goal, the less points you get when you score. The further away, the more points. I think you can get up to three points. I might be completely dull. I might be wrong about that, I'm not sure. I'm getting thrashed now. I'm just going to get hammered. Oh, come on. Uh, Lucas Arts. How many bros is this? Oh, it went on to make. If you remember Loom and The Dig, and they brought us Sam and Max, and um, loads of sort of point and click. Oh, I should have that point and click. Text adventures. Oh, oh. And obviously all the Star Wars. Wow, this this is difficult. All the Star Wars games as well. Obviously it is LucasArts. I don't think they're still going now, are they? No, they've sold Star Wars to uh, Disney. Could be wrong. But they brought some great games. As I say, these 8-bit games. Four of them. Ball Blazer, Chronos Rift, The Eidolon, and Rescue on Fractalus. All really pushed the technology at the time. Um, oh, I well should have had that. Well should have had it. Whoa, did you see that? He's just got three points. He's shot from such a distance. I'm thinking there's some cheating going on here. Come on. I'm just booting it down the pitch now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes. Redeem myself so I can start pushing back now if I get more goals. But then, if he scores a decent... Oh, if he scores a decent goal now. Oh, I should have had that. That could have been... That could have been... Oh, oh that's it. I lost the ball. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on. No, 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 no. Can you imagine when I was a kid and we played this? Just played tournaments with friends. Imagine the amount of shouting. There's a lot of shouting going on. A lot of joysticks being thrown. All in there. Uh, all in fun, of course. We never really fell out for that long. But we settled a lot of things with Ball Blades that time. I think we should do that now. There we go. There I am. See me on, can you see me on the bottom? Oh yes, yeah, spinning around. Thrashed. You know what? Shall we try? Should we try f four? Should we try four? Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if he's all that any easier. Here we go. Oh, no, it probably isn't. It's difficult to get him off. Off the now again. Yes, come on. Oh no no no. I'm gonna have a big time for a minute. I'm not really. So iconic that music as well. As I say, that the the original soundtrack, purely random. The the guy who wrote the music in uh, I think one of the reviews 
in one of the magazines of the day, I, I don't know what magazine it was, who reviewed computer games back in the 80s, uh, compared the soundtrack to something Coltrane would have done. Uh, I, I think the game wrote the music, was just like, that's it, done, <laughs> job done. This is fascinating. I just remember this, apparently this is also available on the Nintendo, the NES, as well. Like, I should really get the cars, I should, I'd love to get it. I think it's a Japanese import then. I'll have to have a look. Droid 4 is hammering me. The other thing you can do on this game, you can actually play, you can say player 1 can be Droid 1. Player two can be droid five and pit them against each other and just watch is the other thing, which is quite fun. You spend a bit of time just watching these matches play out. Whoa, he's difficult. This is this is not good. I need more practice. I've been playing this for several hours, you know, before I actually Oh, what a goal. Two points. Yeah, I've been playing for several hours before I actually did this video to get me ball blazer skills up but I think I need to where's the ball come on come on come on come on come on oh no I'm trying to get in front of him no 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 that's it me gone there I am spinning on the bottom screen oh. I need several more hours to think on this you know what I'm gonna do one more game. One more game. This is the last game. Watch me look. Here we go. It is really playable, this game. I mean, it probably doesn't look much nowadays. Yes. One point then. I should have got further back. It doesn't look much nowadays, this grid, but really at the time there was nothing else like it. Everything else was just in a, a 2D uh, playing field. And then this comes along, and it's, well, this and the other um, Lucasfilm games. Oh, what a goal. Two points. And it just, just blew everything else away. And it really, it really made people sort of, you know, other sort of programmers pull the socks up and start doing something a little bit more, more taxing the, the technology at the time. Let's get back a bit. Oh. Three points, that was a great goal. Seriously can't recommend this enough, this game. This is one of my all-time favourites. I think I'm, I'm going to struggle in future episodes to find games which I actually love as much as... Uh, oh, I thought I had that. Games that I love as much as this game. There are other ones, but... This... I, I must have... I mean, I must have played this in my life. Oh, I was convinced I had that now. Whoa, 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 get away from me. I reckon maybe... Oh, solid year of playing this, maybe. When you add it all. Maybe not. Maybe not that long. Pretty long, though. I should get in touch with some of the people I used to play this with when I was a kid, and maybe we should have a rematch. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Bring back those arguments again. Not talking to people the next day in school. Oh, come on. Where's the ball? Wow. Oh. Wow, well, I'm finding it difficult to get. He's blocking me. I'd like to see what this is like on. I'm, I'm guessing on the Commodore it was kind of quite similar. I'm sure we didn't have the, the fancy intro the Atari had. So that was all done in the, the GTA 8 graphics mode that the Atari 8 bits had, where they could display all these different shades of one colour. Um, but I'm reckoning the actual play field and all that looks the same on the Commodore, but I'm not sure what it looked like on the Spectrum. And, and even the Amstrad. I'm guessing the NES version is probably similar to this. Let's get back. Oh! Oh, I gave that away now. Do you see that? 
Come on. You can see as you tackle, you kind of knock the other rotofoil around, the opponent's rotofoil. There we go. Right, let's get the ball. This is it. Oh, we can hear him right behind me. No, 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 no. Where's the, where's the goal? Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened there? I don't want him to score at all. Come on. I need my keyboard clicking like... I'm oh, just firing loads. No, don't score, don't score, don't score, don't score. Oh. Well, I think I'm losing my ball blazer skills now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what did I do that for? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. Only one goal, but... Yes, come on. This is going to be it. Oh. You can see the... Oh. Yes, what a goal. Two, two points. As you grab the ball, the movement on the ball, like these momentum, as it's sort of stuck to you, it uses some light, it's supposed to be some force field, to hold it onto your, your rotofoil. Oh, you really need to, oh, what am I doing? Come on. I just don't want to let him go. That's it. Oh, where's the ball? Oh. Yes, okay, okay. Oh, I thought I had that then. I'm going to start arguing with Droid 1 in a minute. So this game's going to cause more arguments. It's not really. Problem is, Droid 1 won't answer back, so it's not going to be a very fun argument. Is it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, get out of the way. Yes, okay. Look for the goals. I'm running for the goal. Where's the goal? Big grid. Oh, that would have been a great end to this video if I would have scored that. But obviously that's not gonna happen. Oh! I'm taking too many chances. I'm just gonna have to finish it off. Oh. Get away, get away, get away. There we go. Oh, I'm taking... I'm just not taking this seriously. Am I? Sorry, we've only got 30 or seconds left. I feel quite safe. I think we're going to win this. Two seconds on the clock. Unless something really bad happens. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Yes, there we go. There's the ending. Let's find. Look at him, look at him. Get away from me. <laughs> awesome. So that was Ball Blazer 1985 on the Atari 400. Listen to some more of this music before we go. funky that soundtrack is just awesome i'm surprised no one's recorded hours of this and just put it out as an mp3 because i kind of i kind of listen to that just driving around how funky is that that is so good anyway i could listen to this all night but i guess i better end the video so until the next all lives lost you take it easy and i'll see you soon Bye.